There are many acronyms in the web world like SEM, SEO, PPC, CPC and lots more. But today we are here to discuss one acronym which is CMS. It is an acronym for the word Content Management System. CMS are actually a software which help you manage and deliver your content without the need to be a technical expert. In other words, they shall help you create your website with zero or very little technical knowledge. CMSs enable you to build a website and do not care about its infrastructure and about hiring any web developer. In easy language, it is a DIY solution for small businesses out there looking to make their website. Now before continuing forward into this deep topic, I would like you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now so that you don't miss out on any new video which I post and always get notified when I post any video on WordPress, marketing or technology. So let us start now. A website is made up of different codes like JavaScript, CSS, HTML, but a CMS like WordPress, Joomla or Drupal shall enable you to make a website in a what you see is what you get editor or in a drag and drop editor. That is much more easy than creating a website completely from code. CMS shall help you manage your content, write blog posts and make a website on a software like MS Word or Google Docs. But what if you don't use a CMS? If you do not use a CMS, you will have to create large HTML, CSS and JavaScript files. Then you will have to upload it to your server. Over there, it shall get identified and your website shall go live. Next, to make any more edits, you will have to download those files back from your server to your computer, edit them, check for any broken links and then put them again or upload them again to the server. Now that's very complicated. That is why CMS were made. Now let us discuss how a CMS works. Now see this infographic on the screen created by me. CMS is divided into two parts, CMA and CDA. Let us talk about CMA first. CMA stands for Content Management Application. It helps you write and manage your content easily. It is a front-end process. Talking about CDA, their full form is Content Delivery Application. They store your content in databases and then show them to visitors just like you specified. They happen at the background of your website without you knowing. It would be just like CDA plus CMA formed together CMS. Now that we know what a CMS is and how it works, let us see how easy it is to use them. See the interface of WordPress shown on screen. This interface alone shall show you how easy it is to manage your content when you use a CMS. Now the next question. What are CMS websites? As the name suggests, websites which are built on CMS like WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, Wix, Squarespace etc. are known as CMS websites. These websites are getting more popular day by day due to their ease of use and because they are fully SEO optimized. The next question would be, what types of websites can you build with a CMS? Speaking generally, any type of website can be created with a CMS. But the most popular ones are blogs, forums, business websites, personal websites, digital courses, etc. These CMS like WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, etc. shall help you create any type of websites. But some specific CMS like Magento shall help you create only e-commerce websites. Therefore, speaking in general, you can create any type of websites. But yeah, there are some exceptions which would only help you to create a particular type of website. Now, let us take up the topic of what is the best CMS. 
Recently, we conducted a research about Wix, WordPress and Joomla. And we found out that WordPress powers 455 million websites on the web, Wix powers 160 million websites on the web and Joomla powers 2.5 million websites on the web. These three uh, CMS are the biggest contenders on the web. But out of these, the most popular is WordPress. See this pie chart shown on screen. I analyze the data and then convert it into a pie chart for ease of understanding, which you can see on the screen. Here you can see a major portion of blue color is taken by WordPress. The red color is Wix and the yellow color which is very tiny which I don't think you'll be able to see is Joomla. Now that we know that WordPress is the most popular website builder on the web. But why is it so? There are numerous reasons and most of them are listed on screen right now. Talking about the first reason, it is the large library of starter themes and templates it gives so that your website design looks beautiful. On the official wordpress.org repository, you shall find all free themes, whereas you should go to the free theme developers website to see the pro versions and the extra features they provide. The second reason is that WordPress helps in SEO optimization of your website. For those who don't know SEO is, SEO means Search Engine Optimization. It is another acronym in the web world. If you want a big guide, the ultimate guide on WordPress SEO, then read my blog post which I wrote recently. Link in the description. It shall provide you huge insights into WordPress SEO, how it works, how, how to do SEO for your website, etc. WordPress shall help you provide maximum speed for your site with its performance plugins which it gives. These plugins are just amazing and they can be called the life of WordPress because they actually power WordPress the most. The fourth reason is the plugins itself as we discussed. There are numerous plugins available on majorly every topic which you would need help with. There are plugins for page speed, for SEO, for structured content, for beautiful looking blog layouts, etc. Therefore, plugins are a major reasons why WordPress has become so popular now and WordPress has over 55,000 free plugins available. Now we have discussed the best CMS on which you should build a website. Now let us move forward and come to different types of CMS. There are three types of CMS which are headless CMS, decoupled CMS and traditional CMS. In this video we will not be going very deep into them but if you need an ultimate guide on what is a CMS check out my recent blog post link given in the description. Now let us talk about headless CMS. A headless CMS is a software which only works in the backend. It is a backend only functioning CMS. The main goal of a headless CMS is to store content and to deliver it to your users in the best way possible. Coming to the second one, decoupled CMS. In the decoupled CMS, the front end and the back end of your website are different, but they are connected through an API. So, even though being different, these two front ends are joined together by an API. The third and the best one is traditional CMS like WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, etc. These are the most recommended types of CMS as they are easy to use and are used by most of the people so they are tried and tested. The best feature of a traditional CMS is that backend and the front end are fully connected. So as I told you in the starting, we won't be going too deep into headless, decoupled and traditional CMS. For that, read my blog post. Coming to the last topic, it is the pros and the cons of using a CMS. Talking about the pros, see, they have easy collaboration first. Second, CMS are easy to use. Third, they provide 
huge SEO optimization for your website, which is a must. Fourth, no coding is required for them. Fifth, you get pre-designed templates and themes so that you can save your time and build your website directly. And the last, that they are cost effective. If you figure out everything easily, then there will be less cost for you as you will not need to hire a web developer. Like a coin with two sides, CMS also has its cons, which are first, they are less secure. Hackers target WordPress a lot because millions of websites are built on it and WordPress code source and the WordPress code is open source. It means that anyone can contribute to the code. So if hackers go through the code and find one or two mistakes, they might insert their own malicious code which will completely damage your website and all other websites running on this CMS. The second is, if you want the best plugins, you might have to invest in them. See, plugin developers provide a free version but that is very limited. There are only some plugins which are completely free with amazing features. Otherwise, most of them have amazing features but half of them are paid and half of them are free. Therefore, you might have to invest in some plugins. Third, it shall be difficult to understand for a beginner. You shall take around one week to understand everything and once you understand it, you will be easy going. So concluding this video, we now know what is a CMS, how it works, its two components, the pros and cons of using a CMS, the best website builder, the best CMS out there, how many types of websites can you build with a CMS and we discussed a lot more. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss out on any new video I post. Also visit my website explorersoffun.com if you want more knowledge on WordPress, marketing and technology. Note, it is now with an updated and a better design. Thanks for watching.